Hey, I'm Anastasia, and last month I made over $10,000 from a few different income streams. But my journey started way back in my first year of university when I began tutoring other students. It didn't make me rich or scale into something huge, but it taught me a key lesson. You have to get started before you feel ready. That's exactly what we will dive into today actionable business ideas that you can start right now and that might change your life. So business idea number one is teaching or coaching. So I started this video with a short story about my first business that I started as a first year college student and I used to teach other students, which has another fancy word for it, coaching. It is a fantastic business with profit margins between 70 to 80%. You don't have any expenses to start this business. You just need your knowledge or expertise and you can go ahead and start sharing it. You can count into these services like consulting, online courses, any kind of training programs. I know the space quite well, not just from my early university teaching experience, but also because I've been consulting my clients one on one about Pinterest marketing for over five years now, as well as offering my online courses. And a lot of people have great expertise, but they never feel ready to start selling it. It doesn't matter what area it is, you can be an expert in drawing graffiti, in fitness, in networking, or even in just moving to a certain country as an immigrant. The truth is, no matter what it is, your expertise is valuable and people are willing to pay for it because the transformation often happens at the transaction moment. When people invest in your consultations, they commit to making progress and that's where the real value lies here in this business idea. Now, the next idea is software. So one of the most profitable businesses out there is software. You build a tool once and it can be scaled to thousands or millions of users. The profit margins are again very high, up to 80%. You do need to have a certain skill set to build software, but if you have the right skills, it's hard to think of a better opportunity these days. Some software companies that make millions in revenue are actually run by small teams of about one to three people. I used to work as a marketer in one of the small software companies, and it was run by a couple of developers and a sales or support, support person for years. And the thing is that you don't have to be the next Mark Zuckerberg and build something the size of Facebook or Google to have a very comfortable lifestyle for yourself and even to build generational wealth, even just working from your home office. And personally, I use on a daily basis multiple software products that are run just by one developer because I have a WordPress site and I know that many popular plugins used by millions of users and websites, they are made and supported for years by just one person or maybe just very small teams. And their expenses are not high because they basically just need to support the salaries of the few people that work in the team. My advice here is just don't even try to make a new Amazon or whatever global ideas you're dreaming about. Unrealistic dreams can stop you from building software in some of the more boring industries. Think of education, government, and other areas that might need your help and where the competition might be much lower. The small software company where I worked, for example, used to do B2B deals only and they worked with large educational organizations. So they sold licenses in large quantities and they probably had just a few hundred of clients they ever worked with. So it was very far from the scale of companies like Facebook. But this was a very profitable business. And you know, starting a business, especially if it's your first one, can be overwhelming. It seems like all the best niches are already taken. So you might be thinking, where do I even start? You can check out a free resource from HubSpot and my first million podcast. It's a database of over 50 lucrative and unique business ideas. I will give you a link to it in the description below. These ideas are creative and practical, and they don't require a fortune to get started. The database is divided into several categories. AI and tech, education, entertainment, events, influencers, products, retail, services and wellness. All these ideas were covered in my first million podcast, so you can easily click here and watch or listen to the respective episode. 
I think the AI and tech section is really interesting. Why wouldn't I? I honestly think that we should all keep an eye on it because people who are building AI today will be the elite class in the future generations. I went to check more about this idea of AI tutors and I landed on a whole episode about different AI startup ideas. It was 40 minutes of pure gold and lots of ideas. So big thanks to HubSpot, today's sponsor, for offering this fantastic resource for free, so download it using the link below. Now let's get back to the next idea I'd like to talk about today, which is selling digital products. One of the easiest ways to make money online is by selling digital products. Digital products can be anything – planners, artwork, journals, online courses, and so much more. For instance, a meal plan or a cookbook is a great example of a digital product. Here's how to start. First, Think about what you're passionate about or what skills you already have. Remember I mentioned that you need to start before you feel ready. And I will just say that I met and consulted several bloggers who had thousands of articles published on their sites on a certain topic, and they still didn't feel that they were ready or good enough to make a simple digital product like an ebook or something like that based on their area of expertise. Personally, I love Pinterest marketing and blogging, so I created checklists, uh, PDF guides, online courses in these niches, and they sell really well. If you're interested in selling digital products, I recommend platforms like Thrivecart for courses and downloadable files, or Etsy for planners, journals, and other items. Just head over to Etsy, search for planner or journal, and you will see what is trending. You can easily create something similar using Canva, which has tons of templates, and you can just start selling from there. Now, the next business idea is Print on Demand, which allows you to sell custom products without holding inventory. I recommend using Gelato as your print on demand platform. When someone buys from your online store, this platform handles production and shipping, so you don't have to manage anything. Depending on the niche and the product type, you can get between 20 and 50% profit margin in this business. By the way, if you start with Gelato, it's free to use with no upfront charges. You can sell with them a wide range of products including t-shirts, mugs, posters, tote bags, phone cases, calendars, and a lot more. Sometimes people ask me about this business model. Can you sell products to your United States-based clients if you live in Europe or, say, in India? Yes, you can. It doesn't matter where you live. Gelato fulfills orders in 32 different countries, which means faster shipping times and lower costs. I will drop a link in the description below so you can get 50% off your first order with my affiliate link gelato.com slash Anastasia. It's super easy to get started, just create a Gelato account, design your products and sell them on Etsy or Shopify. You can even use AI tools like MeJourney to generate custom artwork in minutes. If you want to learn more about this business model, I made a full print-on-demand tutorial and I will link it for you up there so you can watch it once you're done with all these business ideas in this video. The next business idea is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is another income stream for me and it has been so for the past seven years. I just mentioned a platform that I like for print-on-demand and I made a disclosure that it was my affiliate link, right? Which means that if you start using the paid version of the Gelato platform, I might get an affiliate commission from the platform. Ever since I started my blog, AnastasiaBlogger.com, I started building affiliate links and, you know, your affiliate income might be small initially, but it often adds up over time. If you promote products with recurring revenue models, like software companies, for example, with monthly fees, you can get a passive recurring commission from people who signed up with your link one or two years ago and they're still using this software. So I started on a blog with affiliate marketing, but as you can see, I'm now also promoting products here on YouTube and you can also check the links to the tools that I use and recommend in the video description. 
and I also use Pinterest for affiliate marketing. You can check some of my recent earnings in just one of the affiliate programs that I use to work with multiple brands in one place. It's called Impact. Now, there are many networks similar to Impact and they have lots of brands under one roof and you will have to apply to join most of these affiliate programs one by one but some of the brands on Impact will even invite you to promote them. I also work with other platforms, so if you want to join some of the best affiliate networks, I will drop the links to them in the description below. Essentially, you promote a product or service with a unique link, and when someone makes a purchase through that link, you will earn a commission. So if you're a beginner, I actually recommend you to start with Pinterest affiliate marketing because it's so simple to start. You don't even need to show your face, uh, so it's easier to get started there than here on YouTube. You can just post images with affiliate links and you can create these images. Um, they're called pins, by the way. You can use free tools like Canva. Canva has lots of templates for you, so you can just change the text overlay and the background image. I have a very popular Pinterest affiliate marketing tutorial on my channel, which I've linked up there for you. And so if you are serious about diving into Pinterest affiliate marketing, check it up there. Now, another great business idea is starting an agency. For example, you can offer services like video editing, graphic design, or social media management. But the trick here is that you don't have to do the work yourself because you can hire freelancers to handle the tasks while you focus on growing your business. And profit margins typically here range between 60 and 70%. From my experience, the simplest and most successful companies are those in this business model where you take a skill that you already have, perhaps you learned it as an employee for another company, and then you offer it to other businesses. And to give you a simple example, I have worked in the past with a video editing agency, which was started by one single video editor who had too much work to handle. So he was good at his job and clients kept coming to him, but he couldn't handle that many clients alone. So he started hiring and teaching other video editors to provide a consistent quality of editing to more clients. And you could have also a social media marketing agency. I talk a lot about Pinterest on this channel and I actually could have opened a Pinterest marketing agency years ago. So many businesses reached out to me after watching my videos and they asked me if I could either manage their accounts or at least have someone else who has been trained by me, uh, trained on my methods and, I, and these people could manage their accounts for them. So I just really don't like the idea of managing a team of people it's not my thing. But if you feel like you have great skills to train and manage a team of people, then starting an agency might be the best business model for you. And to succeed in this business, you need to target a strong market pain point. Like most of YouTube creators, they often want to hire someone to edit their videos. Why? Because it's so time consuming to edit videos and YouTube is growing. New channels go viral every day. So there is a lot of demand and there are not so many really good video editors. And the key to sustainable income in this agency business model is to avoid offering one-off services. So if you chase clients for one project or just one month of services, you have to keep starting from scratch each month. So to avoid this, do your best to offer ongoing recurring services. For example, you could provide continuous support or consulting over several months, signing clients up for 3, 6 or even 12 months contracts. This approach builds a stable revenue base that grows month after month. Those were the best business ideas you can start this year to grow fast. And if you want to learn how I make over $10,000 a month as a blogger and YouTuber, click on my video linked up there and I'll see you in the next one.